Hello, it's Sarah. I have just a quick project share tonight. I have been totally staying out of the basement, but I put the heater on last night and went down there and I just made this, um, an, an altered a composition book. Um, it's only the second one I've ever done. My first one I did a video on and I have my uh, Prima Doll stamp on there. And I love it and it's getting filled up. This one's really, um, I use this for um, taking notes on videos that I like. I put my resin notes in there when I was studying up on that. And this one is um, gonna be like for my Etsy store and just think ideas that I have for sell what I wanna sell on my store and things like that. Um, so I'm looking forward to filling this one up. I used Fairy Rhymes, I'm pretty sure, the Prima Fairy Rhymes stack. Um, and I had an idea of what I wanted to do. Um, I was kind of going to use Divine at first, um, thinking about, um, it was a notebook holder that I made for my neighbor's graduation present. But anyway, I ended up going with the fairies and I fussy cut um, these two little fairies out. Um, and then part of the paper that this one was on, I just cut the, oops, the outside of it around the edge so that it had a border because obviously the fairy, uh, the big stack, it's like a 14 by, I forget how big those stacks are, but the paper is an odd size. Um, and so anyway, I just cut it all out and I fussy cut this butterfly out. These are just punched out, um. Martha Stewart punches. This is just a dragonfly that I had um, in my stash. I put some bling down here and these little flowers, these metal flowers are from, um, and I think I want to order more. This is a Tim Holtz um, leaf piece underneath it, but the flowers were um, Oriental Trading I got these and I think I'm going to look them up again because they were very cheap and they were very cool. I put a bunch of them on a canvas that I did um, and I have this little ladybug one here and I just stickled I did a little bit of stickling and a little bit of, um, I actually did, uh, the butterflies are done with um, the gold glitter uh, Mod Podge um, Dimensional Magic, I think it's called. So really, you know, I mean, it's for me, so I was pretty happy. Um, I just put notes on the little banner, but I think it turned out cute. And then this one I actually did a little bit different, and I'm not sure which I prefer. On the original one, I had just covered the cover, covered the cover with paper just up to the edge and then just um, rounded it and I kind of like sanded the edges for it to match and then um, distressed, it, uh, distressed it with black soot. Um, and I like that. I mean, it seem, it's, held, um, it's held up really well. I mean, it hasn't come unstuck or anything. But then I was seeing some videos of people who were wrapping the, the board, um, the covers. So I did that on this one. I've done that on mini albums before, so I thought I would just do that. I would try it and see which I preferred. And I mean, I don't really have a preference right at the second. I mean, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other, as my mom used to say. So I just put this Fairy Whispers paper on the back and this kind of uh, whitewashed wood pattern on the back of uh, the very book and just put a little lace. So, I mean, I think it turned out pretty good. It's not um, too warpy. I didn't put a closure on this one because I really didn't do anything to the inside pages. Um, I had put pockets on the um, other one. I just like kind of took d designer paper and glued it to a couple of the pages and then made these pockets so that I could put like random stuff in there. This is um, measurements and things like that uh, for different um, ideas that I would have. So I don't know if I'll put pockets in this one. I mean, I could. I could always add little diagonal pockets and just use that. Um, oh, I cut out another little fairy and put her there. So that was that. I just wanted to share that real quick. And then I also have a couple of resin pieces I could share. Um, I've been trying to figure out what I'm putting on my Etsy store. Um, I definitely, I'm going to reorganize tomorrow. I've decided to do this. This is, um, I'm going to lower this a little bit because the resin pieces will probably be easier to see if they're a little closer. Still in the dining room, so it's a bit, um, the lighting is, is just weird in here because it's, leaves that, those, uh, oh, my, my tripod's trying to fall over. Um, this is a Ladybug light switch cover that I did. I have to sand it, 
but I think it turned out super cute. I'm just keeping it simple with these now because I've been trying to do the fancy backgrounds and um, I'm not having good luck with them. So, But the ones that I've done with the white backgrounds um, are turning out really as good as I could hope. So um, then this is something, this is a, uh, a, it's a pretty large piece. I got the, I think it's, um, I don't have a ruler right in front of me, but I, it's definitely, it's like six and a half by six and a half, I think, or seven by seven. See, and it's, I domed the top of it. This one actually leaked, so I have to sand it. Um, but I kind of stopped it. It leaked around the edges because, um, the top of it has, um, like a no lip to it so it was kind of tricky I put way too much resin on that one I think but I decided to do these military plaques I'm gonna put a tooth hanger on the back with E6000 and I'm gonna display them on my gold which is actually in the other room I don't have it but I have those gold like plate stands and I'm gonna display them like that when I put them on Etsy this one's the army one and this one turned out so much thicker this one is so thick compared to that one um, and it came out a little more yellow too so I don't know if that has to do with the the way I mix the resin this one just turned out way whiter um, I used all like gold and gold stars and gold glitter behind that one too this one I put blue to kind of pull the blue in um, he has a blue star on his nose that's kind of funny um, but they're really cool. So these are going to go up on my Etsy store. I just have to finish them up. I'm going to put, like I said, put hangers on the back of these. This one is so thick. This one turned out really thick. Um, and then this one I didn't go quite as thick because I realized, well, you don't need to go that thick. And then I made, um, with the coaster size, I have this one is the navy and those stickers kind of bent on me a little bit i'm not i don't think i'm going to put these on my store i have to um glaze this one or well dome it and then this one's my army one which i really really love this one and i'll probably do more of these because i love the jeep gonna, my my um there we go my tripod is like tipping um but i have huge bubbles right in the middle so I would definitely bring this to a show and maybe sell it as a discount, but it turned out really nice other than that. Like it's really well done, um, the doming and all that stuff. And you know, of course I had those huge bubbles under the Jeep, but I think it's really cool. I really like that one. So I have those. And then the next project I'm gonna be doing are some magnetic boards. My husband bought me today some sheet metal. So I'm gonna play with that, but I also got these at the dollar store and I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube about people doing um, cookie sheets and stuff. So of course I had to run to the dollar store and I got a couple, I got a pizza tray and a cookie sheet. So, and then these are, um, I'm just gonna play with these, but um, I have a couple magnets on here. I made this cool Marilyn Monroe magnet. So I'm playing and I made a polymer clay magnet. So, um, I have a couple things in store I will share um, but again I just wanted to share my little uh, ultra composition book so that's it for tonight you guys thanks for watching